Okay, grade 4 learners. Hello, young scientists. Welcome to our third quarter, module 3, week 3. Today, we have our new lesson. We're going to talk about the objects that are attracted to magnets. Are you ready to learn new things today? It seems that you are ready and excited. Let us discover these new things with the help of this video. For the last two weeks, we already know the effects of force on size, shape, and movement of an object. If you still remember our lesson, kindly identify the changes happen to each material when force is applied on it. You only have 30 seconds to answer. Time's up. Let us check your answer. The first picture shows that when cutting a paper into bits, the change in size occurs. Then the second picture, when bending a ruler, the shape is changing. And the last picture, the man pushing a box, may change its movement. Very good! With this, activity, we define force as either push or pull to an object. And when force is applied to an object, it can change its size and shape. And the amount of force we apply to an object can change its motion, position, distance, and direction of an object. With this learning, you are now ready to proceed with our new discussion. Before we proceed to our next discussion, let us play a short game called Four Picks One Word. And I know that you are familiar with this game. All you have to do is guess the word that are related to four pictures. And you have 10 seconds to answer. Are you ready for our game? The answer is magnet. Awesome! The answer is metal. The answer is force. When you were younger, you must have played with a magnet or with a toy that has magnetic parts. Most likely, you observe how certain objects move close to the magnet or the magnetic parts of objects. Were you ever curious or interested about what could have caused this? Well, if that is your answer, let us discuss more about magnets. Magnet is an object that attracts other objects. And these objects are made of metals like iron, nickel, and cobalt, as well as alloy and steel. Magnet do not attract non-magnetic materials. These materials could be made of paper, cloth or fabric, glass, wood, plastic, and metals like for example, aluminum and copper. Yes, you heard it right. Not all metals are attracted to magnets. Are you wondering how these magnetic materials attracted to magnets? 
That is because of magnetic field. Magnetic field is the invisible field or area that forces objects to react to its properties. The magnet exerts a non-contact force which is a type of force that acts at a distance even without physically touching the object. But how does this magnetic field look like? Observe the magnetic field diagram. Ang direksyon ng magnetic field ay katulad ng direksyon ng mga linya na inyong nakikita. Mas malakas ang magnetic force sa maliliit na space sa pagitan ng mga linya. Ibig sabihin, mas malakas ang magnetic force sa poles ng isang magnet at mahina naman sa gitnang bahagi nito. Let's now define magnetism. Magnetism refers to the ability of a magnet to attract objects. It is a kind of force exerted by a magnet. Ibig sabihin, ito ang kakayahan ng magnet para dumikit sa kanya ang isang object. We cannot see it, but the way it behaves and acts can be seen. But, can a magnet lose its magnetism? Yes, you are right. A magnet can lose its magnetism. How? Nawawala ang magnetism ng isang magnet kapag ang domain o yung mga maliliit na bahagi ng magnet ay nagulo. One way for magnet to lose its magnetism is by dropping it on the floor many times. So sa tuwing mahuhulog ang magnet sa floor, the domains are shaken. Eventually, ang domains ay nagugulo ang linya. So magnetism is lost. Another way of how magnet lose its magnetism is through pounding and exposing it to heat or fire. There are two main kinds of magnets. Both kinds are made from a group of metals. The first one is permanent magnets. It retain their magnetism for a long time. Ibig sabihin, napapanatili niya ng matagal ang kanyang magnetism. Halimbawa, ang magnet na nagpapanatiling sarado ang ating refrigerator. Note how these doors remain closed even without being near a strong magnetic field. And these permanent magnets can be made into different shapes like for example, the U-shape and the bar shape. Next type or kind of magnet is what we call temporary magnets. It loses their magnetism once they are no longer in contact within a strong magnetic field. So nawawala naman ang magnetism ng isang temporary magnets kapag malayo na sa kanila ang malakas na magnetic field ng isang permanent magnets. Examples of this type are steel paper clips that have been exposed to permanent magnets. They lose their magnetism when they are no longer within range of the permanent magnet's strong magnetic field. Did you learn something new about magnets? If your answer is yes, let's do an activity. The title of our activity is What materials are attracted by magnets? And these are the materials needed. Ball pen cup, can opener, iron nails, sharp pencil, paper clips, handkerchief, plastic spoon, rubber band, key, thumb tucks, plastic ruler, copper wire, 
bits of paper, and of course, magnet. And these are the things you have to do. First, gather all the materials on the table. Second, place each of the given materials near the end of the magnet. Find out whether each object is attracted by the magnet or not. Third one, observe what happens. Record your observations on the table below. On the table, you are going to classify materials whether it is magnetic or non-magnetic materials. Magnetic materials are those objects that are attracted by the magnet. And non-magnetic materials are objects that are not attracted by the magnet. And now, let's do the activity. Let us answer the following questions. Number one, what happened when the materials were placed near the magnet? Yes, you are right. Some of the materials were attracted to magnet and some were not. Next question, inspect the objects that were attracted by the magnet. What are they made of? Yes! Very good! Objects that were attracted by the magnet are made of metals such as iron, nickel, cobalt, or steel. Next question. Inspect the objects that were not attracted by the magnet. What are they made of? Yes, you get it right. Objects that were not attracted by the magnet are made of plastic, cloth, rubber, paper, and copper. And this is where you can find magnet. It is used in appliances, transportation, entertainment, industrial, construction, and many more. Where can you find magnet at home? Is it very helpful to use magnet in the appliances at home? Well, that will be your task after watching this video. Let's try this one. For the directions, circle the magnetic things and box the non-magnetic things. And the materials are screws, sponge, wooden chair, doormat rag, and steel wire. You only have one minute to answer.
Let us check your answer. Screws is a magnetic material. Sponge is non-magnetic material. Wooden chair is non-magnetic material. Next one, doormat rug is non-magnetic material. And the last material is a steel wire, which is magnetic material. Did you get the same answer? Congratulations! You passed this activity. For the evaluation, let us answer the following questions. You just choose the letter of the best answer. Number one question, which of the following refers to the ability of magnet to attract materials? A. Magnetism B. Magnetic C. Magnetic field or D. Electromagnetism The correct answer is A. Magnetism Number 2 question Magnets are attracted to objects that contain blank, blank, or blank. A. Iron, nickel, aluminum. B. Iron, aluminum, steel. C. Iron, copper, cobalt. Or D. Iron, nickel, cobalt. The correct answer is D. Iron, Nickel, or Cobalt. Number 3 question. All of these are magnetic material except blank. A. Iron rod. B. Plastic spoon. C. One peso coin. Or D. Nail cutter. The correct answer is B. Plastic Spoon Number 4 question What would happen if you stroke a needle with a magnet? A. The needle will repel the magnet B. The needle will become magnetic C. The magnet will lose its magnetism Or D. The magnet will become an electromagnet The correct answer is letter B. The needle will become magnetic. The invisible field or area in which a magnet exerts force on certain object is called blank. A. Magnetism B. Magnetic C. Magnetic field or D. Electromagnetism The correct answer is letter C, magnetic field. Good job, learners! You already know what magnet is and understand how certain objects attract to magnet. I hope you enjoy our lesson for today and see you in our next lesson. Keep safe everyone and goodbye!